Joining us now exclusively this morning from Washington is Pia Carson, who is Gabrielle Gifford's chief of staff and has been very close to the Congresswoman both before and as she's going through this recovery. Thanks for being with us this morning. Good morning, Erica. As we just heard from Don, the Congresswoman is able to communicate, even speak, in some respects with her family and with her friends. Does she understand at this point the full extent of what happened uh, on that Saturday morning in Tucson, not just to her, but to everyone else? Uh, she certainly knows that there's been a traumatic event here. Um, the, the details of the um, the severity of the injuries to the others, uh, you know, she doesn't she doesn't know yet about, but she will in, in time when um, when she's you know at a higher level of um, communication. It's the you know doctors have said it's not not really fair as you can imagine to tell someone mm -hmm. something so tragic and not you know someone that might not have the ability to ask the detailed questions that someone will have when when they hear this news. How much is she able to ask? We heard um, we heard from her dear friend there, uh, Debbie Wasserman Schultz, talking about the fact that she really noticed express her facial expressions and even some sort of frustration at not perhaps not being able to get out everything she wanted to say. Um, can she answer simple yes or no questions or can she give uh, more elaborate answers with several words? Um, it, it's a combination. I mean, you know, there's various words in her vocabulary that are that are coming back, and new words every day that we hear. Um, short phrases, simple thoughts. Um, she, she, there's no doubt that she understands what's happening around her. She laughs at the appropriate times. She, uh, you know, when the conversation turns to serious, she, you know, she, I think, can sense that. So. Um, fully recognizes people that come in to visit her. So we, we, no one that has, that has seen her has any doubt that, um, that she can understand everything around her. And, you know, she's just working really hard and uh, progressing. It's paying off. And every day there's new progress that, that you see. Um, so, uh, you know, we, we feel very hopeful at, at her recovery. What, what is her day like there in rehab? And what kinds of signs are you seeing on a daily basis, be they physical or, or even perhaps something you notice in her internally? Her days are busy. I mean, you know, part of the reason she's at Tier Memorial Herman in Houston is because they've got a track record for uh, putting together a really great rehab program. So it's it's multifaceted. I mean, it's um, you know, there's different teams of therapists that work on speech and physical uh, and th and occupational therapy. Um, obviously, eating is is a big part of getting better and sleeping. I mean, that's mm -hmm. you know basics um, that that we all know. So she does a lot of those things. Um, you know, and just practicing in terms of like feeding herself, for example? Yeah, or, you know, it's just, uh, you know, she's, we all, it's, it's you know, nice to eat. It's like, make, makes you feel like a normal person. So, mm -hmm. she, you know, she's fortunately got time for um, all her meals, and Mark's ordered in some food that she likes, and um, the, the folks at here have been great. The, you know, um, you know they, they, uh, they just, they really know what they're doing, top-notch facility. And so she's got busy, busy days. All right, well, we, can, we will continue to follow the progress. We do appreciate you taking some time uh, to keep us updated this morning. Pia, thanks. Happy to.